back at it with another SAO abridged. This is episode two. Link start. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Start Out Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Anyplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. I guess after episode one success, 10 years ago, they might have been like pressed by like, I don't know, some kind of like copyright issue. So that's why they had to put this disclosure in episode two. They're like, oh shit, they're coming for us. Yes. <laughs> there we go. A month has passed since that fateful day. Oh. Everyone's world got all twisted, leaving them stranded in a castle. In Damn the sky. right, brother. Since then, 2,000 poor souls came to an abrupt and tragic end. All right. Some by bad luck, others by sheer <laughs> stupidity. I mean, really, why would you just stand and fire? Wait, there's a dude that just stood and fired? That didn't bother the kid, none. He only cared about one thing, and one thing alone, himself. Because in a game of life or death, you either live or die. Or you die. That's oh, right, brother. Wow, what brilliant insight. It's so deep, it loops right back around to being stupid. The kid. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point of this show. I love this, like, uh, rugged narrator voice, too. I like this, brother. He had ranted at no one. It slowly dawned just how alone he truly was. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Yeah. So he's shitting on him. The narrator is shitting on Kirito, and Kirito has no choice. He can't do anything the about it. Granted that no one, it's slowly dawn and just how alone <laughs> he truly was. Wait, what was that? Yes, has a yeah, you. Like a preacher to his silent gods. What gods? What are you talking about? It's all bullshit metaphors with you. He cried, not knowing the difference between a simile <laughs> and a metaphor. The time of his brain. The, the difference between a simile and a metaphor, I ain't gonna lie. Do I even still know the difference? Uh, a metaphor is basically like a... Uh, a statement, a phrase that kind of alludes to something else, right? It's like an example that like kind of like describes what Kirito's doing, but like in like a different wording, right? I'm not sure. And simile is basically like similar things. I don't fucking know. Simile is like or as, and the metaphor is everything else. I don't fucking know. I suck at English. It's my second language. But only by the tanniness of his dick. Narrator off. You can silence me, but you can't silence the truth. Kirito just silenced the narrator, dude. He cried, not knowing the difference between a simile and a metaphor. The tininess of his brain dwelt the, the tininess of his brain. Of his dick. Dick. Off. You can silence me, but you can't silence the truth. <laughs> Dictator. Oh, uh, we gotta skip this part. By the way, I actually got copyright flagged on my first video. Isn't this crazy? Bro, literally, due to his own ego, missed out on 13 million views worth of ad revenue because he included this opening isn't that fucking insane my video when i uploaded episode one got flagged so i cut it out he included it he included it just for some kind of artistic choice bro decided to skip out on the money by the way just to give you a fucking numbers worth 13 million views roughly 1,000 views is sometimes $1, and sometimes in the higher end, it could be like more higher in different niches. In the anime niche, it could be around two, like as high as or two or three. So let's, let's just say like $2, right, for 1,000 views. 13 million? That is $26,000 USD that he could have potentially missed out on because he decided to keep that opening in there. Blows your mind, doesn't it? Hey everyone! Thank you all for coming to our little powwow. Oh, now, this guy. I know many of you may be discouraged Boo. by the fact that 2,000 Diabelle. people have died so far. Boo. What? 2,000 people are dead? It hasn't yeah. even been a month yet! Oh my god! We really are fun! Yeah, you and are. I know even more of you are a little down because we haven't even cleared the first floor yet. We haven't? I thought we were almost done. You're in the first floor! How did you not even- These players are so fucking dumb. Uh -huh. uh, you guys do know there are a hundred floors, No, they right? don't. What? Oh, they didn't know. Just making things worse. <laughs> Point is, we found the boss room. <gasps> now we formulated a few strategies with some help from the beta testers. The beta beta testers? Oh Boo. God damn it! Kibao, what do you want? <laughs> this guy was so fucking insufferable. And like the part that pisses me off is the fact that he came off as an obnoxious, rude asshole, but then somehow made solace and was kind of polite, but then returned to being a fucking douchebag at the end. Like, at least like be consistent so I can shit on this guy. But like the fact that they kind of dangle like redemption in front of me, I was pissed off by it. This guy fucking sucks. I hate him. He needs to die immediately. Beta testers. They're the reason we're stuck in this game. You're stuck in this game because you fucking suck. Get good. What? Do you have any evidence to back that up? Nope. Evidence? I don't need no evidence. All I need are my feelings, brother. Fuck that evidence. Isn't that right, Jesus? It's pronounced Jesus, and I don't know you. Well, they still <laughs> All right, say Jesus. newbies. If I'm not into Jack. Giga Chad! Giga Chad Baldy! And who the hell are you? 
are best you? character here. I am known by many names. Mm. Mountain Slayer. Oh yeah. Underline. Oh yeah. Chocolate axe. Ain't no way they call him the fucking chocolate axe, dude. <laughs> Bro called him the chocolate axe. But you? What are you? You may call me mm. Tiffany. Huh? <laughs> Tiffany? Are we gonna call him Tiffany in the anime from now on? Are we actually gonna call him Tiffany? I kind of want to Loki call him. If I call him Tiffany, though, people that's never watched the bridge is gonna be like, "What the fuck is this guy talking about?" But you, Tiffany. You call me Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. Huh? Yeah, Tiffany. That's a pretty masculine name. Absolutely. It's a woman's name. All right, you want to hey, be a woman? Fine by me, you. man. Good. Then you can shut up and listen. Does everyone here have this book in their inventory? They don't. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. They do? Wait, can I change my answer? This book is full of tips and strategies on how to survive this game. Put together by, by the, the beta betas. Chapters. Everyone read it, yet some people still died. I don't think people actually read it. I think that some people didn't even know this thing existed, right? When I was watching episode two, these people are shocked. They're like, what? The betas fucking put up a comprehensive guide for us so that we wouldn't die? The beta testers did everything they could. Actually, they, I didn't read it. Yeah, Here's, I didn't read it. This is why people in this show needs to die, dude. Like, I hate them so much. They're so stupid and ignorant, and it's just like, the pure idiocy, the stupidity on display, especially at the end of episode two, when they, like, call Kitty to a beater. It's insane. It's just like, I, I, whatever. They're, they're supposed to be dumb. They're supposed to be dumb. I skimmed it. What? Didn't any of you read it? They're dumb. It is literally a matter of life and death. Well, dude, it's like 80 pages. 2,000 people are dead. <gasps> yeah, but it's 80 pages, Tiffany. They, they are? are? I am so done with you people. What do Same. you mean, you people? Whoa, 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 you cannot, you cannot suddenly reverse the you people line to fucking Tiffany on Black History Month, bro? We still got one week left, and you're gonna say you people to Tiffany? I am so done with you people. What do you mean, you people? So <laughs> Low key, if this was made 10 years ago, that's 2014, right? I honestly expected like it to be a little bit more raw than that. Because back in 2014, bro, people were saying the N-word, the slurs, like straight up, and nobody blinked an eye, right? So I'm surprised that this video, the Abridged series, is quite tame. <laughs> I would have expected these people to start fucking calling him, you know, the N-word. As Mr. Thunder Chocolate was saying, this book has- What? As Mr. Thunder Chocolate? <laughs> All right, we got Chocolate Axe, we got Tiffany, we got Thunder Chocolate. They are? I am so done with you people. What do you mean, you people? Thunder so, Chocolate. So, as Mr. Thunder Chocolate was saying, this book has some great strategies, yeah. including how to beat the first boss, Ilfang. Wow. Yeah. So, as you enter the boss room, he's gonna throw wave after wave of disposable yeah, the sentinels with the toothpick things. And you must things. answer in kind? Uh, what? Send the weaker players first. Good rule of thumb. Hmm? If a player asks you for gold two seconds after meeting you, front line. Ah, uh, to get the better distribution of loot, of course. Ha! <laughs> Serves them right. If Serves they you right. If they hijack conversations to rant about their political views, front lines. Oh, shit. Your front line if material. If female players for pics of their boobs, front lines. Oh, bullshit! That's discrimination! Oh. <laughs> now, now, people, I think there are some valid points being made here. Agreed. Now, it goes on to say when Ilfang's health goes into the red, That's right. Pattern changes. His axe and buckler to something called a tall war. At Ooh. that point, we should initiate a strategy called the final solution. No, at that point, the blue guy goes in thinking he's about to get loot, and then he dies. And then, uh, I'm just gonna stop reading. Jesus, who wrote this thing? Hmm. <laughs> what was that? What, what, what was that? What was that? At that point, we should initiate a strategy called the final solution. And, and I'm just gonna. Is that the basically? Um, because you know, like Diabel, like kind of just like lied to everybody, right? And he went in for the kill steal. So is this the part where he was like reading too much? He's like, oh, oh I shouldn't be talking too much, you know? That this is the part where I go in. Stop reading. Jesus, who wrote this? That's the name of Hitler's plan. The final solution. No way. I, I was not aware of this. The final solution. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's got dark all of a sudden. Thing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay, so the guy. Why did Kirito laugh there? <laughs> what? Why? Why did Kirito laugh point, there? We should initiate a strategy called the final solution, yeah? and uh, I'm just gonna stop reading. Jesus, and, who wrote and this then? thing? <laughs> Kirito is a fucking menace. 
<laughs> He's an absolute fucking menace in the Overbridge series, dude. Why are you giggling at this? <laughs> okay, so the guy's a bust, but it'll be okay. fine. I'll come up with a great plan for us. Okay. Like what? what? Basically, you're gonna go in and do all the work, get it to the last HP bar, then I'm gonna go in and die. Well, we could... Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What? What? I'm open to suggestions. You don't oh, got shit. Gosh, we could, we could, you know, like, yeah. group up and uh -huh. hit it till it dies. Oh, you're so smart, player eight and nine. What did you just say? Oh, God, we could, could, you know, like, group up and hit it till it dies. Yeah, you know, like, Group up and hit it till it dies. Geniuses. Woo, nice. Brilliant. No wonder they didn't need to read the guidebook. We got geniuses right here. Just don't get hit. Just kill it before it kills you, bro. What's so hard? Five. That's smart. A good start, but let's hear some other suggestions. Nah, we don't need them. Fuck it. Ain't no way you gave me a German accent there about the final solution. Let's hear some other suggestions. I'd like to hear more about this final solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I too would like to hear the final solution. Fuck it. Group up. Okay. Oh, Asuka. So, Hello. why aren't uh, you joining anyone's group? I have my reasons. Is it because you're a girl? No. Girl. It's because I don't know how to play. Because you're a girl? No. Girl doesn't know. It's just... <laughs> this bitch didn't even know how to read a fucking name in a party menu UI, dude. She is not a gamer. This show literally shit on this girl for being a girl. She didn't know how to read a fucking name. Well... She didn't know the Switch thing either, but she was pretty, like, fast and nimble, right, in the battle against, you know, the thing. And Kirito and As Asuna, they basically 2v1 the fucking boss, but, like, I swear to God, the game was throwing shades at Asuna, dude. The anime was throwing shades at her for being a girl. I don't know how to open the menu. <laughs> what? Oh, no. You can't do anything in this game without the menu. How have you survived all How month? did you? Just eating bread? How do I eat? <laughs> Challenge. She what ate her you? cream. Why haven't you joined the others? Oh, lots of reasons. Mostly because they're a bunch of mouth-breathing neckbeards who think LMAO is how French people laugh. Didn't he just describe himself first now? Oh, <laughs> that's so Lamau. <laughs> that is so Lamau. Does anybody actually say Lamau? I don't think so. Lamau. I don't know. I feel like sometimes it warrants like a, a situation to actually say Lamau, but if, lol, Lamau, lel, kek, I don't know. If anyone actually says it out loud, it's like, uh. Wow, you certainly speak from the heart. He's speaking oh, from the dick. I was speaking from my mouth, but eh, shows what I know about biology. No one else wanted you in their group, did they? No, they Shut didn't. Up, it was mutual. All right, looks like everyone's grouped up. Get plenty of rest tonight, people. We leave at noon. Yes, sir. Uh, noon? That's so early. Should be 3 p.m. minimum right. for gamers. What about 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock? Dude, Dude, 3 oh, p.m., God, come fine. on. We leave at the crack of 2.30, I guess. The Please. crack at 2.30 p.m. at dawn? <laughs> what? Christ, I'm gonna have to set my alarm. All right, we're okay, in. Okay, so there were a few more PM. we realized. Wait, wait, wait. What does it say? Wait, 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 wait. It says something else here. Basically, December 3rd, floor 1, at 7.30 p.m. So it took us fucking five hours to get to the boss room. Good job, guys. Okay, so there were a few more stairs than we realized. Apparently, real-life athletic ability translates into the game. Good to know. Oh, God. I can feel my lungs trying to... All the gamers are too fat and have no cardio, so the stairs took them five hours to climb up. Kill me. Is this sweat? I feel a little. Jeez, Ew. This is sad. <laughs> Fuck it, why don't you all just take a Cheetos and Mountain Dew break and we'll reconvene in an hour. All right, hour. one hour break. One hour break. Damn it, guys, I was kidding. You weren't actually supposed to take an 8 hour. 8.30 p.m. now. God, I've lost so much time. Let's just do this. Okay, already. here we go. You all know Boss room. Plan. Group up and kill it. Ooh, the Sentinels with the ear pick things, you know? Look at it. All right, men. Form up and... Every man for a <laughs> Leroy what? Jenkins! No. Damn it, guys. Squad B, quit attacking the boss and keep Sentinels off us. C and D, stop attacking the boss. did a great squad. job in terms of leadership, though. Like the strategies, squad coordinating. For fuck's sake, stop playing Bejeweled. What? Oh, Someone's D. playing Bejeweled? Stand help A and B. Got it. Don't talk back to them. Holy shit, really? Okay, Asuna, what you're going to want to do Switch. here is... Switch. Pretty good. Oh, I thought she was hopeless, but her technique is flawless. If I didn't know any better, I'd say she was even better than I. Kirito, I is killed she? the thing and now it says I have XP's. Is that bad? Am I Girl. Am I dying? Or I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not. Women. All right, men, this last part's gonna take careful coordination. 
which is why I'm just gonna do it myself. All right. Oh, here it goes. Kill steal. Kill steal. Oh shit. Diabo, look out. That's not a tall war. It's an Otachi. How would you even know, bro? Oh, it's not a tall wall. This is, I believe, according to my calculations, an Otachi famously used in this certain century back in Japan. <laughs> How the fuck do you know that, Kirito, huh? Coordination, which is why I'm just gonna do it myself. Kill steal. Oh shit! Diabo, look out! That's not a tall war. It's an Otachi. Oh What's no! What's the difference? Well, a tall war is of Indian descent, while an oh, yeah? Otachi is Japanese. I didn't well, know that. Good to know. Slashing weapons. A tall war was favored by cavalrymen, as opposed to an Otachi, which was mainly used for dick measuring. What's dick measuring? Point? Are you well, serious? Well, let me finish. I was getting to that. You see? Oh! Uh, oh, he need that. He dead. Diabo! <laughs> if only someone has a potion for Diabo right now. Soul pants. I was trying to say a nodachi is a little bit longer than a talwar, so it'll have more reach into a bit. Did you? Didn't you mention dick measuring contest? Anyways, if only someone has a potion right now that can save Diabel, right? More damage. And why couldn't you say that first? I like to think of myself as a teacher. All anyway, right, now drink this. this. No, no, it's better this way. What do you mean? Why? 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 What is the logic here? Please, I still don't understand. I've been really thinking about this. I'm like, why would he ever? Refuse the potion here. This is a life or death situation. The most realistic thing would be for him to fucking snatch that potion away and start fucking chugging it because he's desperate for life, right? Now, some of the others, some other people are saying, um, actually, he felt guilty because he too was a beta tester and he felt that it was right for him to die at this moment. I'm like, bro, are you serious? Are you really gonna reach and do that kind of mental gymnastics to argue for why he didn't take the potion? I think it's as simple as this. The author decided that Kirito, Kirito is gonna be some kind of emo kid. Cause that's the way that's shaping up. In episode one, he was very cautious about teaming up and finding friends. Episode two, he seems to only be around Asuna and he seems to be only be like a solo player, right? That's what's very implied. Even at the end of the episode, he even mentioned there's some things that he can only do as a solo player, right? There's limitations. So the author decided I need to write this kid into a certain way to be a solo player and for him to be discriminated upon and for him to be like looked down upon by other people. So this bullshit happened. This bullshit happened where Diablo refuses and that this leads into that fucking fucking pinecone hair looking ass guy. It's like, oh, he's a beater. He didn't let Diablo survive there. I bet you're a beater, a cheater and a beta tester. And it's like, are you fucking serious? Are you serious? Wait, I just can't do it anymore. I had such high hopes at first. But now, our best player is a girl who thinks DPS is some kind of sex thing. No, that's no. not. Right? You're clearly not like the rest of them. He's a How beater. How do you stand it, Kirito? Where do you draw your strength? I've been playing MMOs Main character. a long time, Diabo. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that lions do not concern themselves with the opinions of- Damn, that's actually a Giga Chat line out of nowhere. Just take that little voice in your head that tells you to be tactful and understanding. <laughs> okay. And shoot it. Shoot it in the goddamn face. Where are we going with this? So wise. If only I'd met you sooner. Perhaps things would have been different. Nah, you probably would have still went and killed yourself. You must lead them now. No, no, no. You, I don't have to lead them though. Things can be different. Just drink the potion. Drink it right now. Show them this game can be beaten. In another life. In another time. I think we could We still friends. can be friends. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. One of the funniest shit that happened in episode two here was what he said. Please, Kirito, for the sake of everyone that we've barely met for the last 10 minutes, please save them. And he disappears. It's like, you think I give a fuck about them? Really? Did we kind of have any bonding moments? No, we didn't. Well, fuck you too. Yeah, fuck All you, right, Diabel. Kirito, here's what we'll do. One counters his blows to knock him off balance, and the other switches into attack. Whoa, whoa, Let's whoa. repeat victory. Whoa. Where does where this gamer girl get the strategy from all of a sudden? You came up with that, but you can't open a menu. All right, so you counter and I'll attack. Here we go. What? No, it's my plan. I should attack. Fine. Just Coffee get ready. soda soundtrack. Ah, switch. <gasps> Her face. She's hot. You almost got yourself killed. I'll attack him. Oh, that was a fluke, and you know it. He's mine. He's mine. Coffee ah. soda. No, he's. This battle sequence went crazy. The soundtrack was really good, too. He really wanted that cape, man. Wow, we did it! Congratulations! First floor beaten! Congratulations! That was even more impressive than that cat I'd learned to play. What? 
That was so fucking random. There's a random cat. Thanks, Tiffany. Oh my god! You guys can see it too? There's a so cat apparently. Crazy. Isn't that great, Jesus? Hey, Zeus. That's right, Jeffrey. What? Now, kill them all. This is getting way too quirky. I thought there was a guy named Jesus in the party, but his name was Jesus, but apparently he can actually see Jesus Christ. As you command, my lord. You've led us to victory, Kirito. These men and I will follow you to hell. Hell no, I don't want you losers. Now, address your people. I always knew this day would come. Ahem. Fellow mm -hmm. gamers, we have traveled far and up many stairs to get to this point. That's right, Fighting brother. Side by side, noobs and leets alike. I'd like to take a moment to say that I couldn't have done it without the help of each and every one of you. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. Of course, I'm not a liar, so I'm not gonna say any of that. <laughs> oh, shit. I Here mean, we go. really, I could have done this whole boss fight myself. Wait, we're gonna skip the part where that fucking idiot pinecone head came in and said some shit, but I guess we're gonna skip that, all right. But to be fair, I guess it did absorb a bit of damage for me, which was nice. You were an adequate meat shield, and no one can ever take that away from you. I'm a fuck, beater. Fuck, shut up, shut up! So, for those of you who came in late, and that one guy playing Bejeweled back there, shoot for the stars. It'll make it more fun when I kick you back into the dirt. You're not better than I Yeah, he is. Oh, he damn. Coat bigs to do. Look at that coat. Damn it, he's got us there. <laughs> he's so cool all of a sudden. Kirito, wait! Bye, Tiffany. I want half. I'm no. Sorry. No. What? I, I killed half it. The coat. No. I did half the work. I should get half the nope. coat. Nope. No. Even getting fabric shit. I can cut. It's a bunch of ones and zeros. Fine. Then give me the ones. Fuck <laughs> you. I want the ones. Ugh. I am not having this argument. I'm dice solving this party. Kirito, if you walk away with my half of the coat, I will make your life a living hell. I don't know. I think you're just gonna stick around and just be our waifu, man. You know what? Fine. I'll give you the damn coat. Just send me a trade request. Oh, we're gonna scam. We're gonna scam her. We're gonna oh, scam her. Quite. She doesn't know how to open up the trade request, right? Simple, really. Just open your menu. <laughs> <laughs> she can't do it. She can't do it because she's a woman. <laughs> that was the best part. That was the best part. What? Oh, it's quite simple. Open it. Just open the menu. Just open your menu. Come on, do it, woman. Come on, woman, do it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another episode of a bridge and honestly there was a lot of dumb shit that happened in this anime this episode again i think it ultimately has to do with the author trying to portray kitty to in a certain way to be a loner an outcast yes it was very forced but at the same time it's fun to just like shit on moments like this honestly it's pretty fun moments again if you guys enjoyed these a bridge series please let me know like and comment and we can continue with the rest of the episodes too